why you still need a test light. So I'm teaching the students to set up the output for the fan driver on a CAT 3406E. We're in the screen to where we can command the fan on. We have the fan output control circuit hooked up to our meter. Our meter right now with the fan off says we have 11.1 .1 volts DC. So as Tristan commands the fan on, watch the meter. It's on. The meter doesn't move. 11.1 .1 volt. We're connected to the meter. We're connected to the battery. Okay, so it's active right now. Okay, so go ahead and put the test light on it, Ethan. Just touch it on there. Is it active? Okay, so it's active. The test light comes on. Now we have 10.8 volts. Okay? Command it off. It's not active. You can see it's not active now. Meter's at zero. Test light's off. Command it on. It's active now. We have full circuit voltage, well, battery voltage, whatever that is, 10.8. And the test light's on. Okay, Ethan, take the test light away. Okay? When he takes the test light away, we go back to bias voltage on the transistor. Okay, so go ahead and uh, command it off again. 11.1. .1. Command it on. It's on. 11.1, .1, just like when it was off. But when Ethan puts the test light on it, it comes to test light voltage and 10.8. So that's why you need a test light to load circuits. And yes, this is an ECM controlled circuit. It's output for the fan driver on a CAT 3406 Atom 2 computer. So when you're ready to throw your test light away, just send it my way.